What's up guys? It's Ryantium here, and today we are back in Skyrim, and oh snap you guys, it's gonna be an awesome freaking day, but first, if you guys enjoy what you're about to see, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe for more daily videos, and if you haven't done already, follow me on Twitter, at CouchPotato1898, link is down there in the description, so guys, welcome to C point that is right you guys so this mod is a little bit different it's a little bit different than a mod that I've done in the past or from mods that I've done in the past but nonetheless guys this is super freaking cool so what is C point guys well let me go ahead and pause and go into the mod menu so C point is a settlement in the northwest corner of Skyrim right here guys so I'm going to go ahead and just let you guys read this. Um, you can pause the, pause the video and read all of this stuff. But what it is, is it's a town. It's a town inside of Skyrim. And there's a there's a livable, there's a, um, there's a live-inable uh, player home that you can buy. There's like a full like merchant system with uh, merchants coming in like every single Sunday and stuff like that. Yeah, see? Go to the Seafarer Inn to talk to Bernie about buying the home. There's so much stuff to this, guys. You've got, you've got the ability to uh, go inside of all of these buildings. There's a tavern. There's a blacksmith place. There's an apothecary shop. You can buy a horse. It's just so nifty. So this is the treasure chest. What do we got? Let's go inside the treasure chest, see what it has to offer. Okay, check this out. Wow, look at that painting. Whoa, look at that one. Those are not Skyrim paintings whatsoever. Holy crap. Something? So this looks like it's maybe like a jewelry shop, jewelry store. Just a nice, fine, classy store. Look at this. That's a beautiful painting. Super pretty. Thorin Redblade. I kind of like that name. And I'm stuck in the doorway. Can you please move? I would like to explore the rest of your town. Thank you. Okay, let's see what he's got to, uh, got to buy. What do you need? What do you have for sale? So let's see what's inside of his. So he's got some clothes. He's got some armor. Uh, he's got some bear pelts, some jewelry. So kind of like a general store is what I would imagine this guy is. He doesn't necessarily specialize in some things. He just has a little bit of everything, similar to what uh, Bellathor has in Whiterun. Crackle? Ghost walk? What? That's kind of cool. Creates a set of basic enchanted mage items. In your inventory for 180 seconds. <laughs> I don't know about that. Steel halberds. Very, very cool. So, kind of just like a little general store. I like that so freaking much. Alright, let's see what else we've got. This is obviously the stable. Yield Sea Hag? <laughs> it might not be the stable. I don't know. Let's check inside of here. Because, I mean, it's attached to the stable. So, that just leads me to believe that you could buy a horse here. So, let's talk to whoever is inside of here. Oh, look at that painting. Look at that. That's gorgeous. Oh, hi. <laughs> That's pretty. Look at that. All right, what do you got? What have you got for sale? Uh, I had figured you for a mage. I think you'll appreciate this. Okay, so it doesn't have a dialogue option, but that's okay. Okay, so we got some drinks. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. This is the apothecary, I believe. This is where you buy all your potions, all of your ingredients. Very freaking cool. Look at the amount of crap that's in here. Holy Jesus. That is All super right, cool. Then. And I think it's got the dynamic clutter as well. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Or the static clutter, rather. Get out of the way, dwarven luggage. Oh, no. That's all there. Whoops. <laughs> oh, my God. These paintings. They're so pretty. Oh, my God. I want that. I want that over my bed. <laughs> oh, man. This is super cool. So, I like what's different about this, guys is similar to Old Heraldon. It's its own town, and it's got its own functioning economic system. There's there's merchants that come in and out. You can buy and sell things once their stocks have been replenished. And look at that, you got a great view of Castle Volcahar. <laughs> oh, by the way, let me show you where it's at in the first place. I meant to do that at the beginning, but we are right here. Seapoint Lighthouse, Seapoint Settlement, Seaview Lodge. And then let's see, uh, right here is Dragon Bridge, Solitude, uh, statue to Meridia, all of these different places, guys. And then Castle Volcahar is right across the water. So, just, uh, just a nice little location. But, 
This music does not sound like Skyrim music, nor Oblivion music, and it doesn't sound like anything I've ever heard from the Morrowind soundtrack, so I don't know if there's the, its own, like, actual soundtrack what to the, like, place, but if it is, it's beautiful. Oh, Hi there, Aster. I, I guess not. Uh, okay, so, let's see. So, Jared Jensen. That's a neat name, Jared. Yes, I am. Oh, cool, so you can hire your own carriage, very cool. There's Avalanche, another horse. I bet you this horse is the one that you can buy. It's all saddled up and ready to go. It's getting a little bit of a derp face. <laughs> oh my gosh, got a nice little cow. All right, so I assume this is the industrial, the industrial. Uh, this is the uh, the forge area, the seahorse stables. Okay, so in here I assume you would buy the horse. Oh, what did that say? Seahorse stables and smithy. Okay, very cool. So this is the bakery. Ooh, I'm gonna buy me some some cakes and some bread and all that good stuff. Oh my goodness, look at all of the pastries. Holy Jesus. Look at it all. Oh my god, there's cupcakes. Need something? Hi. Hmm? I have leeks to sell somehow. Uh two doll okay. <laughs> one gold one gold a leak. That's that's pretty good. Oh, look at this. Oh, yeah. In the description, it was talking about how there's there's peppers. You can buy bell peppers, red peppers, and green peppers. That's so neat. Oh, dude. This is a this is a part of Skyrim that I never even used. Ooh, pine nuts. That's cool. I never even thought to use the food. Because in regular vanilla Skyrim, I... you don't need to eat, you know? Food is just kind of there as as a pretty thing, you know, but in like the survival aspect of Skyrim with the uh, the mods and stuff like that, you kind of have to eat, you know? I mean, unless you're a vampire. That looks really cool. I love all these custom pictures and paintings. Super freaking cool. All right, what goes back here? Oh my god, the tavern. Look at this. Go to the sea the seafarer inn is what it's called. Talk to Bernie about the house for sale. All right, where is Bernie? Are you Bernie? Yes, yes that's Bernie. I'm inquiring about that house for sale, 6,000 gold. I've moved into the lighthouse. No need for a big house like that. House is still available if you're interested. I am very much interested. I'll take it. I know you love it as much as I did. All Where's right, six key? grand. That's pretty good. I li oh, you can furnish it? Of <gasps> course. Sea view is what it's called. Oh my goodness. Home. That's a beautiful home name. Okay, what do we got? Oh my Jesus. Uh, let's see. Holy God, that's a lot of freaking things. Good Lord. All right, let me buy all these things, guys. I want to see what it looks like. Okay, got everything in there, uh, bought and stuff like that. But check this out. That's so nice. It's got the seaweed and it's got the fish and the clams. I'm going to need you to shut up. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> That's so cool. I love all the just the static decor and everything like that. The uh, Like I said, the pictures and the paintings, it's beautiful. I love this place so much. All right, let's see. Uh, how do we get out of this place? Aha. Oh, Kidoki. So there's the Seafarer Inn. It's connected to the Seapoint Bakery. That is so freaking neat. I love that, guys, so damn much. And then the house is right down here. Whoa, look at this. Wow, look at this house. It's so nice. Look at the size of this chimney. Wow, that is a hell of a chimney. Holy crap. Now, what is this stuff down here? Is this 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 old structures from Skyrim? Like uh, this was before Seapoint went in? What is this? This looks pretty cool nonetheless. This is kind of nice. It's a nice little dock. Nice little fishing dock. So if I'm not mistaken, Every four Sundays, I think, it says Sundas, so I assume that's Sunday. Every four Sundays, a merchant ship comes into port, I assume, right there. And you can buy goods, you can sell goods and all that good stuff, guys. And it's like a, it's like a dynamic thing. What I'll go ahead and do is we'll go and look through the house, and then what day is today? It's mid us so we'll have to wait a whole week. But I just want to see what that does, you know? Alright, so let's see. This is the house, I assume. Yes, oh baby. Okay, this is beautiful. Oh my goodness, this looks like a Bob Ross painting. Goodness gracious. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, look at this. 
Oh, it's got the static cluttered guys. God dang it. You know, the more and more freaking uh, mod showcases that I do on houses, the more and more I think that the static clutter is the way to do it, and it's kind of the norm now. And I'm digging it, guys. I am digging it. I love all the static clutter. Look at that. Got bread loaves, garlic barrels, salt, carrots. God dang it, this makes me want to farm. <laughs> Look at this. Got my own table with a pie and everything like that. So nice. All right, got some weapon racks. Oh, look at this. You got a kid's bedroom. Look at that. Oh, that's like straight out of Pirates of the Caribbean. That's super pretty. God dang it, dude. I love these little... These these smaller homes are just beautiful. Gosh dang. And this house is not small by any means, but you know what I'm saying. It's, uh, it's smaller than Castle Shellblad, which is all I've been known to. This is the master bedroom. Very pretty. Look at that picture. God dang it. <gasps> oh, baby. Look at this. Yes. Oh. <laughs> oh, shower me in greatness. Look at this. <laughs> oh, I love it so freaking much. God dang it, dude. Soap. Look at this. And washcloths. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, man. This is beautiful. Got some nice towels. All right, nice little painting. Very cool. Oh, got some soul gems over here. Got some scrolls. Oh, guys, I love this so freaking much. Oh, this is absolutely beautiful. Oh, my goodness. And it's quaint, you know? It's it's small. It's perfect, though. It's more, it's more than you need. Oh, my goodness gracious. This is so pretty. Okay, so that's pretty much all that's inside of the house. Let's check the outside, especially now, now that it's like 7 o'clock at night. Oh, man. Okay, so let's check out the back porch and stuff like that, because right here we've got the stable section. Whoa. Check this out. You got all the storage you need for armory and, like, oh, that's cool. Nice little workbench. Got the stable right here. Very cool. Got a nice trough. Oh, look at your farm. Look at this! Wow, that is a humongous farm. Holy hell. Oh, I have my own goat! I got my own goat! Wait, milk Gertrude? You're kidding. You're kidding me. <clears throat> Can I milk my goat? <laughs> I want to milk my goat. Where are you at, Gertrude? Come here. Uh, wait. I, I saw the prompt. I want to milk my... Yes, there it is. What am I going to get? Milk? What the shit, dude? <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. Okay, we need to turn the we need to turn the daytime back. I don't like seeing things at nighttime like this. Let's see cheating. Actually, here, let's go to cheat game options. There we go. All right, and we'll set it to we'll set it to seventeen hundred. Look at this. You got your own fishing dock. This is an actual fishing dock. Look at that. Oh, hi, dragonfly. What kind of fish we got down here? We got clams. Oh, but uh, don't go in it if you have the uh, the water mod on. <laughs> water is freezing, freezing apparently. Wonderful. That's just great. Okay. Oh, looks like there's. Oh wait, no, that's part of this. That's part of the town. Gosh, dang it, dude. This place is gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. So I can definitely consider. I would definitely consider downloading this mod, guys. This is absolutely freaking beautiful. And, and you have a town right there. So you can have your own self-sustaining life inside of this town. You can just sell all your wares in Seapoint and never freaking leave, guys. That's so perfect. That's so cool. All right, so I tell you what. I'm going to go ahead and wait until Sunday, and we'll see if the boat pops up. Just as I suspected, guys, there it is. It is now Sundos, 5.25 p.m. on Sundos. Look at that. There's a separate ship right there. Oh, my goodness. The merchants. Look at that. Oh, that's so cool. Hi. Yes. Okay, so I guess I can't talk to them, but look at this. They bring all their wares aboard. This is so freaking cool, guys. Look at all of this. Oh, oh god, the frame rate did not like that. That is so dang cool. Oh my goodness. I freaking love that. Hi. Okay, so I can't talk to you, yeah. but can I talk to you? No, but you got a crazy looking face, bro. 
That is so crazy cool. So I assume some of the merchants, in fact, most of the merchants are still, like, they're inside. Oh, God, that's, that's a bad thing. Uh, I don't want to fight a dragon at this nice little town. Stop it. Stay away from me, demon. Stop it. No, I don't want to <laughs> God dang it. I don't want to fight a dragon. Fine. Just become my squishy. Stop it. Nobody likes you. Oh, Jesus, criminy. That was a big shout. All right, we'll just go ahead and leave that guy to his uh, to his vices. Okay, no, nope, I need. I'm just gonna need you to land there, big guy. Appreciate ya. <laughs> there ain't no need to uh, disrupt this nice little town. Nothing, sanguine dragon. I was warned about something like you, so I'm gonna go ahead and walk away from you. But guys, I would definitely highly suggest. Oh wait, wait! Look at this outdoor market. Oh, oh my God! I love this place. Look at this! Mm -hmm. Everyone's here, all the merchants are here selling their wares. Look at this! Oh! <laughs> Look at that, guys. It's a it's a dynamic, like, market. Dynamic outdoor market. Is that dragon still here? Yep. It's a dynamic outdoor market. When, uh, when that ship comes in, all of your merchants come up here, set up their stalls, and sell you their wares. That is so freaking cool, guys. Absolutely awesome. So... With that being said, guys, I would highly, highly suggest downloading this mod. If you're one for role-playing, or you're one for having a ton of fun with, like, a town or something like that, absolutely, absolutely download this mod, guys. Super freaking cool mod. Hell, I might even move here. <laughs> Who knows, guys? But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed... Okay, the hello, dragon. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. And if you did, make sure you smash that like button. Subscribe for more daily videos. And if you haven't done already, follow me on Twitter at CouchPotato1898. And I will see you guys in the next video.